Bill, in previous videos, we talked about personal branding and storytelling in terms of job seekers. Now let's talk about companies and organization. We all know that these days, if they're posting any, any job, the job seekers is researching them. They're checking on their website, LinkedIn, social platform, if they have YouTube channel or Instagram. So also they are part of from the employer's side to present themselves like a magnet so that they can attract talent. So what can you tell about that in terms of the storytelling for employers? Well, first of all, I love the analogy that you use so that these employers can act like a magnet to attract employees. Mm -hmm. um, but the great thing about a magnet and thinking about that analogy is a magnet works both ways. A magnet, when it's properly programmed and mm -hmm. in, in the sense of that, like this organization has a real strong sense of who they are as a company, who they are as a brand, what they believe in, their vision of the world, the way they want to see it, um, what they value and hold dear. That magnet can attract the right people, but like a magnet, it can also repel the people that frankly don't belong with that organization. When I work with organizations to help them uncover their organizational story, including things like those values and that vision and that purpose, mm -hmm. I help them understand you cannot be all things to all employees, yeah. nor do you want to be. The more you are willing to talk about those philosophical underpinnings of your brand, of your culture, you have to understand that that's going to attract the right people, but it's also going to repel people who frankly don't belong with you. Mm -hmm. And sometimes they say like, well, I don't want to turn anyone off. And I say, no, yeah. wouldn't you rather in an interview situation, turn them off, have a potential employee say, yeah, no, mm -hmm. I don't think so. This is not a good fit. I would so much rather have someone recognize that right off the bat, yeah. right away versus us taking two years to recognize something that we kind of instinctively knew mm -hmm. all along. Yeah. Yeah, I totally agree. It's very important to attract the right people, right? So that you're building this team of people that are representing yourself. Absolutely. There's there's one company that you've probably heard of in the United States called Zappos. Yeah. When they they're an online retailer and they have an incredible culture. Yeah. Uh, and their culture is very carefully cultivated, nurtured, and maintained. And when you interview at Zappos, mm -hmm. there are two lines of interviewing that you go through. One is purely for the job in terms of your your, your skill set, your mm -hmm. expertise, and the other parallel path is completely and totally about culture. Yeah. They want to make sure that if you get this job, that you're going to be a good cultural fit. Yeah. I totally agree with you, Bill. Thank you for that. And for the audience watching or listening, if you have any other tips uh, for employers in terms of telling their stories, please leave comments below and tune in next time for another great question with Bill.